I am the man of my dreams. Howdy folks. I'm feeling real Missouri in a day. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Hello loves. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mayula Majeed. And I have a word for y'all today. This message is not going to resonate with everyone. You'll know if it resonates with you because you'll just feel it. You'll just know. Like, so if you choose this path, then you are the chosen one. So I don't know where I've been this whole entire time. Society really makes it seem like you're going to be with one person for the rest of your life. And that's just not realistic. The more that I grew up in this world and like started to become interested in dating and stuff like that, I'm like, oh yeah, I know that there's someone meant for me. Like I have a divine counterpart. I have a soulmate. I have the man of my dreams. Like the man of my dreams exists. I used to watch these videos on like relationship and dating advice and people would be like, yeah, you need in order to manifest your specific person, right? It's all this talk about manifesting your specific person getting your desired outcome all of that so i'm like writing down all the qualities because that's what they tell you to do that like write down the qualities pray about it and then let it go all of that so like when i tell you when i was a freshman in high school i literally wrote down a list of qualities that i would like my ideal man to have my dream man to have tall dark handsome you know like all of that i wrote all the way down on a sheet of paper and i just wished and prayed and hoped for it i said there has to be someone out there that's for me just like me there's someone out there like me for me until one day reality slapped my ass spirit grabbed me by the hair and said shut it down <laughs> bro i was going through a lot in my romantic relationship so I decided to reach out to an energy healer and spirit said no baby mm -mm. you got it all mixed up there is no one outside of yourself that can make you feel whole make you feel complete basically they put it like this imagine if this this man this person whoever you're looking for you're searching for has all of your dream qualities they check off everything on the list they are the person that just makes you feel so loved and so happy and you all finally meet oh my gosh we met i'm the happiest that i've ever been in my life i'm now fulfilled i can live my life like i just feel on top of the world okay now imagine if all of those qualities and all that those things the person does and how they make you feel imagine those feelings being in the little things like a gentle breeze amongst your skin or like life's little delights, life's little moments that make you feel whole, that make you feel purposeful. Like, I'm here for a reason. Imagine all of those qualities that you would have found in that person within yourself and within co-creation with the world and planet that you live on. That is the revelation that was given to me. And ever since that day, I've never looked at my dating life the same. So we all have a soul. We all have a higher self, right? And when the the whole talk about and inner workings of the twin flame and the soulmate, that idea literally comes from there being a soul. Like the granity, is that even a word? But the grandness of your soul, right? being birthed and separated into different aspects which is still you it's just you come from a larger part so like imagine those different aspects being birthed into the same incarnation at the same time that you choose to be so that's where the term like twin flames and soulmates come from if y'all if it's written in y'all's path to meet then y'all meet and it's like okay great we met do i choose to be romantic with you or not, that's up to you. You don't even have to be romantic with the person, but if it's in y'all's path to meet or if you want to meet them, then you make the call and you summon forth that presence of yourself, another aspect, part of yourself. And it's up to you if you want to intermingle with them or interact with them, however 
You do. But do you need that other aspect to complete your life mission, to complete your life's purpose? No. And that message right there is only going to resonate for a select few because some people do choose to come into this life and be with one person for the rest of their lives. Now, is that not to say that you'll never be with someone, that you'll be single for the rest of your life? No, not at all. It's just the choice is yours. Like, I eventually want to have children and settle down with a man and all of that. But it's like, do I have to do it? No. Am I forcing myself to do it? No. It's all up to me. It's my choice. And when I'm ready for that, then I'll set the intentions and say, okay, this is what I'm looking for in a spouse and a partner. These are the qualities that I would like for them to have. These are my standards. And I stick by that. And then, you know, I marry and I have a great life. But is it mandatory? And will the world end if I don't have that? No. Why? Because my mission and my purpose is already complete and set within me. And it's like, are you going to do this with me or without me? If you do it with or without me, I'm going to be good. I'm going to be good, baby. Because the person that does come into my life they have to add value to what I'm already experiencing you have to add to what I'm already experiencing you have to of course I know y'all heard this before but share the love that I already have for myself you know this is not a dependent upon you or already feeling you know like complete like no are you gonna add to what I already have going on if so great and we can share this we can share this love if not then you just don't meet the criteria And I plan to ask myself that question, this question, when I'm ready for a spouse. Like, if I already had it all, if I already was rich, successful, all of that, accomplished my goals, would I still choose for this person to be in my life? Would I still choose to interact with this person? I don't know. Or, yes, I would. There's a lot of qualities in this person that I resonate with that I feel like and add the value so I choose them but basically it's a choice like you don't have to have that man and that's why I say that I'm the man of my dreams because (laughs) I am working towards and becoming I'm pulling back the layers of that that the prize of the gorgeous woman the woman that's dedicated that's you know she knows what she wants like I am becoming that I am that you know so it's like okay I'm already fulfilled like what's up like who are you you know (laughs) like I'm already so happy and I am that that's why no literally I'm the man of my dreams like I'm everything that I could have asked for in a partner and more So yeah, I just wanted to share my perspective when it came to this because, you know, I feel like we've definitely transitioned as a whole, though. I feel like not many people be like, oh, I have to have a boyfriend or I have like, I feel like we're transitioning as a whole. And a lot of people now recognize like, no, I'm putting myself first. And if you can't add to that, then bye bye, you know. So yeah, I just wanted to kind of give my two cents on the revelation reflection that I had and I hope that it helps someone out there like girl you got this like boy you got this like you know so yeah I hope y'all enjoyed this video and I'll see you on my next one